Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to see to work the June 2013 paper 2 as it relates to spreadsheet and that's what I have here in front of me. Before I start my typing however, let us just go through the question together to see what exactly needs to be done. It starts off by saying, type the following spreadsheet in landscape orientation, follow all instructions. So the first thing I'm seeing is page one of one and it says that this should be in the header and should be aligned to the right following that i see howell university college it says that that should be an algerian font and at a size of 14. students grades semester 2-jan to may 2013 it says that this line should be bold right i'm also seeing 2nd of January, and January we need to spell out. We try our best to expand abbreviations, all right? And sometimes that is a part of the mark scheme. So it is 2nd January to May 2013, which tells me that this document should be in the blocked style. I'm also looking at my heading, and everything starts from the margin. So it tells me that this document should be in the blocked style. It goes on to look at program, bachelor's degree in marketing, among other information, and um, it should be underscored, meaning underlined. All right. It also says use output cell style for the headings, where basically the headings for the table. And so we will be doing that. And then the information is there to be, um, to be used to populate the table and then there's a column called final. It says insert a formula to calculate the average mark, right? And sometimes um, we use the word formula or functions interchangeably, but they're two separate things. But to find the average, right, we will be using the function, all right? Um, finally, it says tutor's signature, insert today's date, all right? And it says center as footer. The information are for regular day release and repeat okay so that's what needs to be done let us see how we can go to microsoft excel and start our typing but before i do that i'm going to split my screen to show my windows side by side all right so here it is okay let's go back to the question all right so we start off it says we need to have in the header so there is something known as header and footer and as an edpm student you should be aware of this already so let me go to insert and select header and footer it says that to the right in the header i should have page one of one so when the header is opened it has three sections to it all right it has left center and right so to the right, it says I should write the word page one of one. All right, and that is there. All right, following that, oh, let me go to the footer at the same time, seeing that there's something to be placed in the footer. Um, all right, so the footer will be at the bottom of the page. It says click to add footer. All right, center, it says center as footer. So I'm gonna write R equal regular, put some space, DR equal day release. And then some more space and it says P equal repeat. All right, so that is that. So that is at the center of the document. All right, good. So I can close out of my header and footer at this time and then go to the rest of the document. All right. So let me go back to the rest of the document. So here we are. So the first thing that needs to be done is that it says now we should type Howells University College. And I'm seeing that being in all capital letters. All right. It says that I should 
Well, he says, Algerian font size 14. So I'm going to go to my home tab and I'm going to select Algerian. font size 14. All right. I will have to fix this later on to suit the rest of the table by merging it across but still keeping it at the left but I'm going to reserve that for later. The next thing I need to do and I'm realizing that I'm seeing spaces between these things. All right. So I'm going to be spacing and this spreadsheet doesn't use specific cell names. All right. So we can do some spacing in it. So I'm going to skip a space and go. It says students' grades. All right, a dash, and it says semester two, January to May 2013. All right, it says this information should be bold. All right. Following that, skip a line again, it says program. Bachelors. Bachelors degree in marketing. All right, something that I should have done, but I, I did not do. I'm just remembering my page layout should be on landscape orientation. All right, so after that, it says subject. I'm just typing here, and when I'm finished and I close out of the two screens, I will format it accordingly. Subject, buyer, behavior. All right, um, under that, this is buyer behavior. All right, so under that, um, code. All of that, let me select, all of that should be underlined. You see in the word underscored. All right. All right. So don't worry how that looks as yet. I'm just trying to get everything done that was asked for and we tidy up afterwards. All right, so student's name, program, subject, so we can start typing our headings now. So ID number. This one. So ID number, name, status. All right, I'm seeing two things here. I'm seeing course work. Course marks, so something has to be merged here. Course marks, and below that I'm seeing paper one. Paper two, and paper three. After that I'm seeing final. I'm seeing final. And then the information should be inserted. All right, I'm going to enlarge this spreadsheet a bit and focus on fixing it up before we continue. All right, so here we are in the landscape orientation. So I have all my headings now. So the heading, I can merge this across to everything in the table. So I'm going to merge, but I'm not going to center it. So I'm going to merge my cells. Same thing for this row here. All right, so now that I'm through merging that, some other things are tidy up. So I'm seeing students should be students, more than one student. All right. And then I realized that instead of underlining, I use the bottom border for this. So I'll have to take that off. No border. 
have to take it off and then properly address them. So I use the wrong line. All right. All right. So I'm going to underline program and then underline. All right. I'm going to remove subject. Let me just cut that and take it in a bit more because it's outside of the table. The table ends at final and that is over. So I'm going to come in a bit more with it. Likewise, code, cut, and just come in a bit more. All right, I'm going to also underline. All right, perfect. And wipe this column a bit, but it will have to be adjusted once we insert the figures below. All right, just looking at what we have so far. And I can merge these two. Merge these cells. All right. So as it relates now to the heading of the table, we have to tidy that up. Because if you realize, coursework spans to paper 1, 2, and 3. So that will have to be merged and centered across those three topics. Not topics, but headings. All right. And then status, we have to merge that because everything... Both row 9 and 10 goes together. So I'm going to merge and let me center. Center. Likewise for name. Right, let me say merge and center and see how that looks. Mm -mm. And ID number. Now, I hope you're bearing in mind how oh, I'm merging and doing this. All right. Why? Because both row 9 and 10 goes together because of course for information. All right. So I'm going to center. Center but left align. And widen this column some more. Again, once we start inserting information, we'll adjust accordingly. And in the final information here the final heading we're just gonna merge that and also put it in the center all right now before i start putting in the information for the table i'm going to highlight it here all right the question says that i should use something known as the output cell style so I'm going to highlight my heading and I'm going to go on my ribbon. It has various sections. It has clipboard, font, alignment, number, styles, cells, and editing. I'm going to select styles. And under styles, there's something known as cell styles. I'm going to select my down arrow and I'm going to click on output. That's what the question says, the output cell style. So I'm going to click on output. And that's it. So the output cell styles allows my headings to be highlighted in green all right so i'm going to insert the data here and come back and we see what it looks like all right everyone so here it is i just got through inserting all the data into the table all right i'm just going to widen some of these columns a bit because i realized that the table the question didn't say that we should center the table or anything all right and there's a lot of space to the right of the, the document so i'm just going to widen some of the columns a bit so that we can have more space on the page. Alright, so the next thing, once I'm through doing this, the next thing that we are required to do is to calculate the average for this, these students. So calculate the average. So how do we calculate the average? We're going to use the av equal average, open bracket, and select the range that we want to find the average for, which basically will be paper one, paper two, and paper three, and close our bracket and press enter. All right, and that's how we find the average. So we're going to go to the bottom right of the cell and double click using autofill and automatically all the other cells will be 
averaged. All right, and if I should click and look on my formula bar up here, I will see the formula being there. All right, so that's the good thing about Microsoft Excel. Now, because all my figures have the same amount of digits, I'm just going to highlight all of them and place them in the center. If the figures did not have the same amount of digits, then I will have to use my increase and decrease in them icon to take them over to the center while they are still right aligned. So I'm just going to select center alignment. All right, I realize paper one and two, not centered. All right, and So note, note that my figures here, my figures are right aligned, all right? Words are always left aligned, as you can see, and figures are always right aligned. But because this is the first column, I do not want it so far to the, to the right. So I'm just going to, because they all have the same amount of digits, I'm going to put them in the center, all right? And that is it. All right, I did not see grid lines for the rest of the, the table, but because it started off with grid lines for the headings, I'm going to assume that I should do that, so I'm going to insert borders for everything. All right, I'm just going to minimize this page and just quickly check back with the question to see if we have done all that we need to do. Students average output, all the data has been inserted. Insert a formula to calculate the average. All right, um, and I'm going to show you, let me do that as well, to show you another way, rather than equal sum, what we could have done. To get the, the, the average, we could have added everything and divide by three. All right, and then it says tutor's signature and insert today's date. So we need to add that tutor's signature and insert today's date. So let me do that now. So I'm going to write that here. Tutor's signature, I'm going to do a capital S, and today's date. All right, now today's date, basically we'll be using the today's function. So for me, I'm going to say equal today, all right, open bracket, and close my bracket, and press enter, and there you have it. So that is how you got you get the date, right? Equal today, open and close bracket. I would have given an overview of these um how to do that in a previous video. Alright, so that is it. Tutor's signature, today's date. Let me go again to see if we have covered everything. Alright. Header, I think we did that. Algerian font size 14. Bold this information. Is it bold? Yes, it is. Program. Okay, bio. All right. So it looks like it. So let us quickly now go to print preview and then we can end this video. All right, so there it is. All the information that was asked for. Do hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to comment below asking any questions or just saying anything as it relates to you and watching this video. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and share this video so that someone else can benefit from the content. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next upload as I try again to make EDPN simple.